Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB12 daily update. Our house guest of the day is Mr. Real World 143. So before we get into today into today's spoiler information, which I'll tell you is awesome. Seriously, this is probably one of the best ones ever. Okay. I just want to take this time to thank all of our subscribers because we hit 4,600 today and um, that's awesome. I don't think you guys understand how much we appreciate it when you hit that little button because it helps a lot. <laughs> and, um, basically, if you're not subscribed yet, we would love if you would. And um, just thank you guys for watching our videos. It means a lot to us. Okay, so on to the good stuff. Everyone is freaking out with the whole Pandora's box thing because they think that Rachel might have some sort of power and it's going to make this week really complicated. More complicated than it needs to be. Um, when in fact, the person with the new, I guess you could call it a power, is Reagan because he has accepted the role as the new saboteur. And he has been released because Matt opened Pandora's box. Still no word on what Matt won yet by opening the box. He keeps claiming that he got a dollar. I don't think so, Matt. Don't fool us with that. And um, the new Sab had a message for the house guests. And it was basically like, oh, you thought you got rid of me when you voted out Annie. Well, there's a new Sab in town and I'm here to wreak havoc. So we'll see what Reagan has in store for the house guests. Well, yesterday they also had nominations and Brendan and Rachel are on the block. Thank God Matt pulled through this time and didn't wimp out like his last HOH. Because this whole thing could have been done like two weeks ago. But anyway, there was some sort of bowling set up for the house guests to practice on. I guess this has something to do with the POV comp this week. And Rachel had a breakdown because she is not good at bowling. Like, she sucks. And Brendan was trying to calm her down. They were practicing like all night. Ugh. So then, <laughs> Lane finally asked Hayden if he is related to Kristen, and Hayden was like, um, no. So, that's all cleared up now, thank God, because that was just rocking the brigade. Um, and they had the Power Veto competition today. This was a big deal. I can't wait to see this on the show, because apparently, <laughs> even... The whole picking of the players was a mess because Brendan was so, like, super cocky and confident. And he was like, oh, yeah, it doesn't even matter because I'm going to win. What the hell, Brendan? <laughs> and um, the players for this competition were Matt, Brendan, Rachel, Brittany, Enzo, and Kathy. And to round it out, Reagan, because he used his special POV ticket thing that he won in last week's POV. <laughs> Flash! So Jeff and Jordan made an appearance for this competition. I don't know if they were hosts or what, but that's pretty exciting because I'm a huge Jeff and Jordan fan. And it's pretty ironic that they would bring them back the week that it, this season's current showmance is on the block together. Coincidence? <laughs> um, well, the veto queen, Brittany, won again. This is her third time this season. I'm really surprised that she's so good at the competitions. Like, I'm not saying that she's stupid, but... I thought she would probably lay low a little bit more, but that's pretty awesome that she won. And it is now time for some drama. Rachel was attacking Kathy because she cheered when Kathy beat her in the competition. Um, since when is that not allowed? And she was like demanding for an apology from her. How about no? Rachel is such a hypocrite because whenever she wins the competition, she like freaks out to the max. And she's so like condescending to everyone so Kathy who's like horrible at competitions cheering for herself that she like didn't lose right away come on let's get real Rachel um and of course Rachel's like everyone is so jealous because I have such a hot body this is one of those few times in life when it's better for me not to say anything because it just what is, is so I'm gonna leave it at that um and Brittany no Brendan and Rachel have been trying to figure out a plan to convince Brittany to use the veto on Rachel and have Matt nominate Kathy. It's kind of like a repeat of last week's plan, which didn't happen, um, so that they still have a chance for both of them to stay. Guess what? It's not going to happen. And um, 
they're also trying to figure out, well, if it doesn't happen, which it won't, who out of us is going to go home? And I could have sworn Brendan was like, Rachel, I want you to stay so it'll piss off the rest of the house and I'll leave. What kind of player is just going to, like, lay down and take that crap? I would be like, um, you're going home, I'm going to stay. <laughs> Seriously, that is messed up. He is so whipped. It's not even funny. But that is all I have for today. I can assure you there will be some shiz going on this week because of the fallout from the POV and everything. And um, we'll see if Brendan and Rachel can make it past this week and still be together. So until next time, much love. <laughs>